know, he's having You know, for me, they're as important as the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, and Led Zeppelin. You know, they mean that much to the fans, and, you know, I'm just happy to be a part of it and, and happy that they let me, uh, you know, tell their story. Being in the studio back when I was 16, 17 years old, I could never imagine that all these years later I'd be sitting here, you know, premiering our movie, a movie about our life. It's crazy. I'm just happy for all the fan support that not only we're receiving tonight, but all throughout our careers. The first time I heard Q-Tip's voice on uh, the radio with uh, DJ Red Alert, I was hooked. I was in a tribe when I was in college before I even made movies, man. I mean, I went to see Tribe Pub Quest at the Palace when they first came to L.A. I wasn't a big fan initially, and then I heard El Segundo, then I heard Left the Lucian, then I heard Footprints, and then the whole people's instinctive travel just took over. And then people's instinctive travels and low-end theory and Midnight Marauders and everything they recorded, you know, has just been part of my youth. I was sort of a hip-hop head, but I didn't fall in love with hip-hop until I until I found Tribe Called Quest. Getting mentions on the I had so many great memories. Benita Applebaum, hearing them in the club, seeing them live. I put Tip in, in, in his first movie. You know what I mean? You know, Fort Augustus with Jazz Jackson. Come and spread your arms if you really need a hug. Actually, Trap Called Quest turned me on to a love for jazz. That's what I love. For the people to be rolling with us 20 something years, that's love right there. And I'm, you know, I humbly appreciate it. When I watched it in a theater, it, it, it made me sort of emotional. As the trial flies high like a dove. And I was listening to people's response and it touched the nerve for me and for the fans. So those who haven't seen it yet, yeah, there's something there for you. First of all, I was just knocked out that he, he has such a love of hip hop. And then that he made an incredible documentary. It's really challenging to make a really great documentary. And that it's about uh, an incredible group. The fans' reaction to the movie has been overwhelming. You know, people within hip hop community, people that never heard of Tribe, and just, you know, people that love Tribe Called Quest has been, it's beyond what I, I, I could have imagined. On a scale of one to 10, I give him an 11. He did a really, really good job. You know what I mean? His acting skills might be a three. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> it's very important for them to be recognized for who they actually are. But the one thing I will say about Tribe Called Quest is that um, we made it cool for everybody, or most people to try and at least be themselves at the end of the day. I mean, Tribe Called Quest influence you could see in everybody from Drake to Kanye. Like the Commons and the Kanye's and the Pharrell's and, you know, they took the baton, ran with it, crushed it, and they're doing their own thing. They made lanes for themselves. Got a message from a, a, like a middle-aged white woman, and she saw the movie, and she said now she's more interested taking a look at hip-hop now as you saw the movie. That's the biggest, you know, it's one of the biggest compliments you can get. That's a bit of a surprise to really watch it and to feel, you know, the way you've touched other people. Tribe Called Quest definitely had a big influence on me and my music career. All we wanted to do was really create good, honest music, because we just wanted to walk out of the studio, see the other rappers that are in our genre or whatever, and them to be like, yo, y'all have the best go about, and that's what we were shooting for. Our music is very inclusive of everybody, you know what I mean? Everybody's invited to the party. Over here, please. The film is not just about music. The music speaks for itself. It's about relationships. It's about friendships. And it's really about family. Then there's the brother, brotherhood story, you know, the human story of, you know, love, conflict, and falling in love again. And, and so I think anybody can identify with that music fan or not. And you get a chance to see them grow into maturity as men, and then you get a chance to see them do some very immature things that grown men do as well. So it's like, I mean, I feel like this, it's almost Academy Award material, um, what Michael has done with this movie. It's amazing. I've seen it twice. You don't even have to be a fan of hip hop to come see the movie because it's a really, really about a dream and love and friendship and, and really striving for something. They were geniuses. Still are to this day. Yeah. We need another show, an album, something. Come on. Hello. Hello. Whether or not A Tribe Called Quest makes music again is really the reason why I made the movie. Will A Tribe Called Quest make more music? Will you guys record again? Why did you break up? I have no idea. I kind of let them do their thing. They're men. They've known each other since they were two years old. And I don't have anything to do with that. So I just kind of stay away from you gotta ask the rest of them that, you know what I mean? But I wouldn't mind doing it. Yeah, yeah. The you know, Trap Called Quest music was, was love. And, and you know, this music and, and this film was made with love. And um, I, you know, I, it, it took everything out of me. 
but it, I put everything into it. I mean, this is, uh, I'm really proud to be here.